Excuse me. Hello. Hello, what are you doing? Hello, you. Excuse me. We're gonna go to bed? Ha! Huh. Yes, we go to bed. Cat's like, Mom! Mom, let's go to bed! Hello! Are you purring? Are you purring? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Alright. I think it might be bedtime, guys. Oh no, it's playtime! It's playtime! Is it playtime? Yeah. It's definitely playtime. Hello guys, it is Wednesday night, it's like 5.30, um, it's, mm, I'm having a week, I think, I think both Kat and I are having a week, we've had like drama with the, um, Beauty News episode that we put up, I don't even know, I think it was Monday's episode, um, people were annoyed that, um, Actually, people are annoyed at a lot of things with that video. Um, one was lashes that we um, talked about. These were sent to us by um, Lift Lashes. And they just, like, they just showed up in the P.O. box. And they sent us a pair each with some lash glue. Um, and there was a coupon code. And because it's like a new brand and also like new products we talked about it in beauty news and um we just like read off the press release that they gave us and they were like they said that they're cruelty free mink lashes and the internet lost their shit they're like oh you um exposed who to beauty for having cruelty free mink lashes um and we didn't like, I don't feel like we exposed her. We did talk about it in a particular episode of Beauty News. Um, and we said, like, you know, we talked about how people were annoyed that um, Huda had said that the hairs are, like, gathered from a free-range mink zoo. And um, we thought that it was probably just like, you know, maybe a language barrier or something like that. Like, her wording was probably not accurate as to how the mink hairs are, like, or where the minks are kept. Like, it's not a free range zoo. Um, and then, like, we didn't, also we didn't, like, comment on whether the hairs could be cruelty free or not because like we don't know where she gets her mink hair from so we can't comment on whether they're actually like whether they're harvested humanely or not and I think the the issue with people saying like x hair is cruelty free like it comes from an animal and I feel like it's it's better to, like, instead of saying cruelty free, I feel like it's better to say whether the hairs are harvested humanely or not. So, like, I just, oh, it's like, it's semantics and it's just, oh, it's doing my head in. Um, but the internet was really pissed off at us about that. Um, someone also said that, like, oh, and this is just, it absolutely does my head in like someone left a comment saying that we had said that unless this was in regards to Wayne Goss brushes unless we saw Wayne Goss brushing the animal himself that we would never believe that they were like cruelty free or humanely collected and Kat and I were like we were trying to go back through our old videos and find like where we said that because we were like that doesn't sound like something we would say because that's not really how we feel about like hairs that are collected for use in like beauty stuff tools and shit like that and someone else commented and totally made sense 
We never said that. Kimberly Clark said that in one of their like brush or an anti haul. It was an anti haul video, but I think it was based on brushes. And I'm just like, oh god, it's just it's such a headache because like people leave comments like this. And I understand people get their back up and they get upset and shit like that. And they leave comments about it. But so many people don't read, uh, so many people don't like watch all of the videos and they don't see how things are said in context and stuff like that. But they'll read a comment and they'll jump on a bandwagon of rage. And it's just like, it honestly, it boggles my mind. Like, Oh my god, it just it does my head in. It's very damaging and it's also upsetting because people are putting words in our mouths that we never said. So that was like the first thing. Also, I said the R word in the video in the heat of the moment and people are upset about that in the comments as well, which I understand, I respect it. I know people don't like that word and they feel like it's offensive. But, like, it's not coming from a place of hate or, like, trying to make people feel bad. It was, it was just a word. It slipped out. There's nothing I can do about it. The damage is already done and people are fucking raging about it. Um, there was something else. Oh, the fucking, that fucking Melt Hotbox collection where we talked about how we don't like mixing, like, drugs and sex with our makeup. And, of course, people are like, oh, you know, medical marijuana helps people all the time. And what they don't know is that we actually cut out, like, five minutes of us discussing medical marijuana and how we don't have an issue with it and we do know that it helps people and we do know that it's different. But it just, like, we have to cut shit out of the video because it was over two hours of footage or nearly two hours of footage I think Kat actually said it was an hour and 45 minutes. And you have to choose things to, like, cut out. Clearly, we cut out the wrong fucking things. Um, and also, oh, there was something else. It was something else to do with the melt. Oh, that's right. Um, the people, Like, we said that marijuana can bring on, like, psychotic episodes. Um, and... People agreed with us for the most part, but I, I don't know. I don't think people were really hearing what we were saying or maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but they were like, oh, educate yourself, educate yourself. Like, I don't need to educate myself, okay? I sat in a doctor's office and had them tell me how the person that I was having this experience with or was going through this experience and I was trying to help them through it. They told me that sometimes marijuana can bring on psychotic episodes and like trigger mental illnesses that you don't know are there because you're predisposed to them, which like we know. And that's what we said in the video. So I don't, oh God, it's just like the internet is just doing my head in this week and I know why Mercury in retrograde aren't we all so fucking lucky um so yeah that's oh that's it's doing my head in this week and I'm actually like I'm struggling with it because I'm also in the process of quitting smoking because I have surgery on Monday and I can't be a smoker um so I have to have, like, my surgeon said, ideally he wants me to not be consuming nicotine for five days before my surgery, which means I can't even use my patches. So I'm like, I'm really struggling. I'm just like, I'm really struggling with life at the moment. It's hard times for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And eventually the fucking storm will blow over, but... In the meantime, I'm in the eye of it, and it's just, it's hard. It is hard. Um, but, 
I don't want to talk about that anymore. I'm not thinking about it. It's like, it's always a fucking little dark cloud holding or hovering over my head. Um, so let's talk about something a bit more exciting and let me show you some things that I've purchased recently. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff here. They're the lashes. I didn't purchase them. They were sent to us for free. And I am very fucking thankful, even if the internet is not. Um, I'm going to... I don't know when I'm going to try them out. I want to take a photo of them first, but I've not felt like it up until now, to be honest. Um, this was a little, like, bonus Jonas item that was sent with a per uh, sent with an order that I made of not these things these things these are so cute so these are from a brand called I think it's Isa and they are uh, it's like a Bambi collaboration thing let me open them up and show you okay so here they are gorgeous little BB compacts now I'm not really into you know BB creams but sometimes I can be swayed and in this case I was very easily swayed so they're just like little BB compacts they have let me get this out little Bambi um, cushion applicators so so soft my goodness um, and this one I actually opened to check the color I am worried that the colour might be a little bit too dark for me. It might be something that I can only really use in summer. But there it is. Uh, so one is designed for hydrating and one is designed for um, like more problematic skin. They also both came with a refill and a fresh sponge which I was very grateful for because these were not cheap they were fairly expensive I can't remember how much exactly oh my god I need to do my nails I look bad um, anyway really cute if I remember I'll try and leave a link to the um, online store that I purchased these from because they often get um, like the collaborative collections with like Korean and Japanese brands so very cute I'm I love these I'll definitely be holding on to the packaging once these are done and dusted because oh Bambi I love it next these are this is a skin frost from Jeffree Starts deep freeze this is actually for an episode of the makeup breakup we're going to do how many swatches in <sighs> one of the biggest highlighters I've ever seen in my life and also I brought myself the Jaclyn Hill palette um, I'll open this up in a second but this particular one it's mine uh, but we're gonna destroy it and then I'll like we'll repress it and I'll use it um, I have no interest in um, reviewing this it's just like too big of a job and also I kind of have a bad taste in my mouth after paying so much for shipping so yeah I don't want to review it there it is um, I don't like the packaging I could say that much um, it feels really cheap and crappy but I really like the colors I think the colors are really beautiful um, and I do look forward to playing with it but um, yeah that's pretty much my feelings at this point last couple of things I got um, I actually got Simon to purchase these for me while he was overseas and I've had them since I got back from Japan or no since before I went to Japan um, but I haven't used either of them so I got a milk blur stick um, I keep forgetting to use it I've got to try and use it uh, and I also got a Kat Von D uh, blotting powder in light again keep forgetting to use it don't know what's wrong with me because I'm actually really interested in this product uh, but there it is got to use it got to remember to use it um, I think I get so caught up in like using my old stuff like I'm in a real um, sort of hardcore use up phase at the moment so I kind of get my blinkers on and forget about the cool new stuff that I have 
sitting ready to be used. So that's my little stuffs haul that I purchased. Um, I also ordered the subculture palette today. Three of the matte lipsticks that are new and I purchased the Aurora Glow Kit which was something that um, I wanted but like I wasn't you know I wasn't gonna pay the 17 or 18 US dollar shipping um, just to order that but because there were some other things that I wanted I was happy to um, chuck that in my cart I'm also having an internal battle. Um, Netta Porter has got Pat McGrath stuffs and they have the Lust Everything kit. But it's like over $200 and I feel like I should get it because if I don't, I might regret it. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I really don't need to, like, spend more money on makeup. And also, I feel like, because I'm, like, feeling like I'm going through a bit of a, like, down fucking time at the moment, I, like, I don't want to try and lift my spirits by buying makeup that I don't need, because it's not going to help the situation. Also, I have, like... I have a migraine and I've taken a painkiller for it um, but I'm trying to like you know make myself feel better basically and it's not it's not the right way to do it so um, I'm trying not to spend like too much money because I am having my surgery um, next week and it's going to be very expensive so I'm trying to be you know a little bit restrained and a bit smarter um but yeah also I'm waiting for a Colourpop order um I ordered the Femrosa palette which I'm really looking forward to um I'm not going to review that I'm just going to like enjoy it I think it is time to go and make dinner um I haven't eaten all day because I felt sick because I've got a migraine um, but now I feel like it's all catching up with me and because the painkiller is sort of like taking the edge off um, I'm starting to feel hungry and because I haven't eaten all day I'm starting to get the hunger shakes so I'm thinking I might go and make um, spaghetti and meatballs because that seems like a comforting dinner. Um, anyway, I think I think that's all. I think I'll go now because I'm just like whinging and complaining about things that will eventually get better. Um, or I'm whinging and complaining about things that I could fix right now, like my hunger. So I'm going to go um, and I will speak to you, I don't know, soon. Hopefully soon. Also, skin. Skin, can you get better please? My skin's been so bad. Ever since I went to Japan and came back, it's just like this whole section. Like, <clears throat> so bad. Anyway, I'm going. I'm going to eat. Or I'm going to make food and then eat. Hello guys. It is Friday night. Uh, it's like 10 to 8. I am watching the Wine Time podcast number 2, which should be published sometime on the weekend. Um... And I've got, I've got hair, I've got hair. Please get off. Um, today I got my phone call for uh, my check-in time for the Stonington Day Surgery place. Um, so I have to be in there at 7am to have my ears pinned back. And um, yeah, I paid like all my bills and all that stuff. So I'm ready to go. I'm very excited, a little bit nervous, but mostly excited um i will be doing an actual vlog on my experience so like you know lead up to surgery obviously not surgery because i can't film the surgery i will be no nice um and then like recovery so uh that will be coming up like i would assume probably like mid-August at some stage so yeah um 
not much else is happening really today i went to cats and filmed beauty news and we did a makeup breakup of the jaclyn hill morphe palette and oh my god that palette drove me insane like it's a huge palette there's like 35 shades so it took a long time but repressing those colors was just like mm, felt like nothing was going right it was so hard to like they would go from like too dry to repress to way too wet and sloppy so it was really hard to like get the balance right and they were impossible to fucking repress nicely but it's done now um i just have to edit it so i think um tonight i'm just going to do this podcast thing i'm going to go to bed early because i've got so much to do tomorrow and if i want to get it all done i have to like i have to get up early and I have to get a fucking move on and not stop. So that's the plan, basically. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Nothing like exciting has happened. Um, it's just, it's just normal times, normal times, and yeah, that's all. I go now. Hello, guys. It is Sunday. We got Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> We've just cat! I didn't cat! They're in the benefit jacket. I, I had yes. to take mine off. I've literally got boob sweat. Like it's uncomfortable. TMI, TMI. Yeah, TMI. Oh, really? I've got um, boob sweat as well. Yeah, yeah. I know. One of these. <laughs> um, we've just filmed Beauty News. I am vlogging on the gigantic cannon because I left my little baby at home. <laughs> yeah. um, but gotta get leave some footage. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's, we did a we did a thing we did beauty a thing. news and an anti haul for Jacob's yes. channel. Yeah, so that was, just, was a fun. That will be coming up. Yeah, I'm a. I'm and the poor guy to had to see yeah. how fucking long it takes to film beauty news. Oh what my did you god, mean? it was it was fun. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. Like yeah. it took it took a while. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy. Hello, baby. Oh, like bye, baby. I think he's, he's trying to suss you out. She's, she's, she's not sure. It's, it's a boy, it's but he's sussing oh, you out. He's checking he's out. Checking you out. Checking oh, you he out. doesn't hate you because he's... Yeah. If I talk to him, he's like... Oh, what if I have a bitch? <laughs> no, no, he's yeah. not. We have, a, we have a running joke <laughs> about how baby hates he's so me. Cute. He um, does. Like, I'm going to vlog quickly oh. before my battery goes. Okay. Vlogception. All right, guys. Wait, I'm going to go. 